Yo, welcome. You as the analytics leader, why do you think the Tomorrow is Today campaign is so important? Well, it's really critical now because we are at the very start of an exponential explosion of data in the world. Um, at the same time, we get this huge capability of doing massive amounts of calculations. Computers are becoming extremely powerful. And third of all, companies are looking to redefine themselves and find value in new things. So if you add those three things together, the explosion of data, the ability to do much more calculation, and the increased need of companies to create value, then you're, you actually have a perfect storm uh, that is about uh, to happen now. Yeah, we hear and read a lot about big data. I assume that has a lot of value. Yes, it can actually. And maybe the word big data is overhyped because it doesn't really matter whether it's big data or small data. Data old is data, data. Traditional data, sensor data, internet data. Data is the crude oil. And what we really need to do with analytics is refine that crude oil into really usable fuel for our businesses. But how do you determine what value is? Doesn't it depend on the business you're in? Yeah, it absolutely does. And it depends even more on how you want to achieve that value. And to keep it simple, I'll give you three letters. O, R and D. Okay. O means optimizing your business. Doing the same things that you do today, but doing them more efficiently. Mm -hmm. With less cost, faster, better. R is for redefining. You may continue to do your traditional business, but maybe in a different attitude towards your clients, with a different reason, your clients start yeah. to perceive you in a different way. So change your business model? That would be disrupting. It's okay. like, I'll do a fundamentally new thing, uh, changing my, my existing business model, or even inventing a totally new one. Okay, but that's the theory. How is it in practice? Well, maybe it's best to give you two examples. I'll give you an O example. Mm -hmm. uh, an organization called DG Echo, part of the European uh, community, uh, who gives emergency funds to people in need, uh, humanitarian crises, Syria, uh, Haiti, okay. uh, these kinds of things. Um, they really need to be able to allocate money and funds to emergency uh, relief organizations as fast as possible. Yes, yeah. And the faster they can get a good view on the data and understand where their money is most needed and which organization can best use it, the more optimal they are and the more impact they have. So they use analytics to really allocate their money as fast as possible and as optimal as possible. A redefiner is, for instance, still a ticket service who started out as a pure ticketing company you ordered a ticket through a call center, they printed a ticket, they sent it to you, and next year they invite you to the same event where you were last yeah. year. You probably know that it's been a while. They've completely redefined their business and they drive it not from a call center anymore, but really through the internet and analyzing all the data that is coming in. And they really have redefined themselves as a data company, providing insight not just to their consumers, the people going to the concerts, but also to their business-to-business -business clients, the people organizing the events, the people organizing football games, to give them insight about their audience and their clients. Yeah, and that creates new business, of course. It creates new business and it creates new value for both, because the consumers going to the concerts get a much better service, because things are tailored to their preferences, and the artists and the football players they get a more optimal audience. I heard you talking about disruption. That's fascinating, but can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, disruption will happen when traditional businesses do not seize the full opportunity of what is about to happen in this field. Um, I'll give you an example, maybe. Uh, computers are starting to understand natural language. So that opens a huge array of possibilities. It means that, for instance, doctors, and these things are going on, specialized doctors can put their knowledge, their medical knowledge, which is a word thing, it's not in figures, yes. they can put it in these computers that understand natural language. The important thing is that other doctors get the opportunity to ask questions to these systems also in a natural language. Okay. And the systems actually learn and become smarter as they are being interrogated and as they grow. Now that is very disruptive for traditional doctors if they do not 
embrace that kind of technology or if they do not become part of that knowledge sharing community. So in other words, a lot of opportunities. True. From all that value comes a lot of opportunity. All right. Thank you so much for this interesting conversation. You're welcome.